Hi there, thanks for joining us. This is Mr. Tune-Up with L30 Hertz. What we're going to do is we're going to do my first unboxing. I'm uh, well, my first hosting. I've been joining my friend here with uh, all of his unboxings of crates and whatnot. Well, Hot Toys is what my thing is. So, uh, if you didn't notice from the backdrop where we yet like to shoot, there's lots of them here, and I, I really enjoy them. This is kind of a, a hobby I picked up a couple of years ago, and it's grown. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the collectibles that I get, a lot of the things I get in these boxes, I actually trade in for store credit at my local comic shops where I get a lot of these. So, um, you know, I get to do the unboxings, I get some cool things, I get to keep what I want, and I get to turn what I don't want into stuff I do. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open this up and see what we've got here. One sixth. <clears throat> For those of you that don't know, this is one sixth scale. And also there was um, two variants of this specific Boba Fett. This is the Hot Toys and not the Sideshow. And this is not the Deluxe that came with the Sarlacc base. I chose that the way that I display mine. That wasn't necessary for me. Um, but I wanted the detail. So we will take great care in opening this up. This is the instruction manual, which covers a lot of nice little things, um, such as where some of the accessories go, how to um, mount things like his jet pack, and that kind of stuff. So, get the first layer off. And what we have in the box is primarily a pack of accessories. Jeez. So you've got, you know, your, your your rifle and all of these different, I'm not sure what the appropriate term is, but I know that they mount down around his legs. So along with that, as well as a nice little blister pack with different variants of hands depending on how you choose to pose him. He almost has like an old west looking gun. Yeah, it's a plasma like sniper rifle thing. Rifle, barreled, rifle, chamber. Um, first thing that's that's to pretty much come out of the box would obviously be his jet pack. Um, it's got adjustable thrusters on it which I think are pretty cool. And another thing that I think is innovative in the way that they attach these to these uh, uh, action figures is uh, the, the hooks here on the back as well as magnets. So you've got the hook to hang it on, right? And then it kind of snaps in and holds in place so it's always straight, if or you will. Or she can suspend his ass. Michelle, I'm going to take a look at this. So, first appearance. He even looks dirty. We've got his cape, which is not really... Connected on both sides, that's not a big deal. I can uh, look into that and kind of figure out how that is supposed to go. I'm sure it's in the the book there. Um, all in all, all these little plastic pieces, if you've ever had one of these, are a little bit difficult at first to get off. Um, that's why we have the tools here, the, the scissors and the knife, of course. And a lot of this stuff will slide off. And just because I don't display mine with the base, I'll just kind of show you the rest of what's in the box here. You have the standard Star Wars Boba Fett base where it does have the name and the plaque. And then the crotch holder, as they refer to it, which you can place in different places depending on how you want it. But um, always in their crotch. Uh, Always, always. It's like a saddle, crotch saddle. But I don't use those in my display with the with the case. I just don't really have to use them, so it's a nice feature. I've heard stories of guys connecting multiples together to make like a, a big floor plan. I haven't done that yet, but maybe that's something I might consider as I acquire more. Um, what do you think, Chad? I mean, I know cool. that as far as, like, you know, on a Star Wars front, you know, the details and such. That's what I keep on noticing is, like, this ridiculous detail. This is a flip-down rangefinder. Oh! And, and, and for the Star Wars oh, super geeks, of course, cool. you'd have to know that. Um, can I see the instructions Boom. here? Actually, I, I have something for you. If you would like to maybe help... 
Those hands have to come off because he's got alternate hands. And then that's yeah, they do. That's actually just a joint. So, for example, for people who don't know, all of the um, wrists are like a ball joint that are completely swivel and movable. Um, they have like the little, um, what, what's the appropriate term where they have like the little notches? Like they click. You know, so it's not a smooth, okay. but they, they fix in notched. The, uh, notched, notched, so they have fixed themselves into a position. That's cool. Um, you, do, would you like to? Are you, are you a little worried? No, no, it's just, I think he's fucking cool. I wanted you to look at him. I'm just curious here if it says anything about how his cape is supposed to mount on him and no apparently it just hangs on that one side yeah which I don't recall that there is no right mark and here it's very clearly like yeah, there does not appear to be anywhere at all for you to affix the game as far as detail it's ripped though and shit and like he has to be one of yeah, he's cool. the cooler um Hot toys I have. I have a, a number That's of amazing. them. And as they re-release some, as they come out with ones they haven't released previously, there's things that I will say they have gotten cheap about, such as the bases. Some of the older hot toys, you know, even only a couple years back, had light-up bases and things. Even though they don't come up with that, and the price has increased due to uh, importing and things like that. I I got sucked in, and I just really can't help it. You know, every time they come up... There's four at my local comic book store that I am making deals to get picked up. And those are ones that I don't have here. Mm -hmm. So... You know, if these are your things, uh, as far as hot toys, sideshow collectibles, one six scale, pretty much anything, please let me know. I'm very, very interested um, from everything. You know, there's a lot of Marvel stuff. There's Harry Potter. There's Guardians of the Galaxy. Absolutely anything yeah, that you can imagine. Um, you know, one six scale is a commitment. It's one of the things that you're either you're either for or you're not. Um, <laughs> L thirty hertz here likes. In general, the smaller scaled things because he can fit more in legends. You know, uh, legends. The wife and I have a lot of pops. A, a I have a ton space. of characters just in general. I do have a few larger ones, but only a handful this size. And we like rotate them so I can like see. So here, let's see if if we're gonna do a shot with him. Maybe we'll get his jetpack on. And. Thank you to Miss Sam for being a patient camera woman. So not patient. The cues. Yeah. You can totally see like all like the his cracked vest or whatever mm -hmm. it is. From the body armor. Yeah, I have big sausage fingers, so this is not the easiest for me to get some of these little details hooked. We'll use gravity as our friend here. Oh no, I am so close, yet so far away. All right, this may not be something that I get accomplished in this video. I will definitely for display purpose, which will come yeah, in a some. future um, ah. Would video back? and turn it so so we can see all the sides. We're gonna rotate him here a little bit. Looks like he has a wedgie. Yeah, it does. We'll get out of his bum. He is ready for that stand. That star is at war for show. <laughs> yeah, that like I, I mentioned, the deluxe version uh, came with the. Dance. The Sarlacc base, and I just did not have enough room for the way that I chose. I was going to display how big him. Is it? I mean, like how big would it sit beneath? Him? Um, these are twelve inch. That's standard um, one six scale, and I believe that in him in the base would have been 
I think like 16, 17 inches or something, which is just a little bit too big mm. for my lighted cases I mean, it's behind like, me. It's a big. Thing. Well, it's it's a sarlacc base that actually has the tentacles holding him and, and sucking him in. Some people argue that that is the moment he escapes. However, that is not in the movies, so we're not going to discuss it. Right. So, um, again, if, if you know, you're know you into 1-6 scale, Hot Toys, Star Wars, or other, please let us know what you're into. Mm -hmm. um, we know lots of people in this industry, and we have a lot of access to stuff that I might not have for my personal collection, but unboxings that we might be able to do for you if interested. Mm -hmm. So, um, again, I am Mr. Tune-Up, and this is L30 Hertz with U-R-A-Q-T-I-Y-Q on camera. Follow us, like us. And thanks for joining us. I'm Mr. Tune-Up on Facebook, Xbox Live, and YouTube as well. Yeah, and uh, hope, hope you liked our first uh, Hot Toys unboxing. Thanks again.